Hey everyone, Journeyman here and welcome back to another Foot Manager 2018 feature reaction video. Today's uh, episode of episode of discussion will be tactics. Uh, now this came up just literally about two minutes ago on my notifications from YouTube. I was doing some editing on there and this came up. So this is the first time of me looking at it. I'm interested to see what they've done tactically this wise and it's going to be, I don't know, I mean it's good because obviously tactical developments and things like that we noticed in the last episode. There are a couple of new roles and positions um, that I noticed on there. So maybe we we'll discuss it in this video. Let's let's go ahead and uh, get this video started and uh, find out. Welcome to FM TV. My name is Joe Tomlinson and today we're talking about tactics. Tactics are one of the most important elements of Football Manager and Football Manager 2018 offers plenty of ways to help you better understand tactics to get the best out of your squad on match days alongside some new options. When you click on the Tactics tab in Football Manager 2018, you'll immediately notice a radical departure from the Tactics screen of old. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of, uh, this looks up a lot, lot different. Um, it looks like they've basically shifted the top boxes where the instructions were and uh, things like that to down to the right here. Um, obviously made the, obviously a hell of a lot smaller, the pitch uh, on the left hand side. It looks pretty much the same. Um, you will see instead of what looks like the old like little bar system, they've replaced it with uh, complete circles between the um, different colorizations. So the paler uh, the color is, the less likely a player is developed in that role, etc, etc. You will see that there are now two distinct panels, tactics and players. The tactics section is where you select your formation, mentality and team shape and deliver team and player instructions. The players section allows you to handle team selection and change player roles, as well as specifying if you want each member of the team to use the default or personalized player instructions. You can ex Okay, let's go back just a little bit there. Uh, see if I can find it again. Here it is. Okay, so position and personalized. Now that is a fantastic feature because obviously, let's say you had two attacking midfielders, for instance, in this case, uh, talking about looks like Will Hughes are going up. Um, so basically you have position-wise and personalized. So you can, so whenever he plays that role, you can change the uh, the way that player plays it. So other advanced playmaker, um, trackerista, shadow striker, obviously that individual, and then you can cater the player role around that individual player in that position. That is a fantastic adjustment and something that needed to be done uh, before. And obviously it's really, really good that they uh, added, they put it into this version of the game. So very excited to see what we can do with that. It's gonna give you guys a bit more control of what happens on the field when you bring on a player. You can expand, reduce, and pin the tactics section depending on which part of the screen you want to focus on. When the tactics section is reduced, you can still move players around the mini tactics pitch. And by pinning the tactics panel, you can work with both panels at the same time. The new tactics screen is less cluttered and easier to get to grips with without losing any functionality. Nowadays, most real life clubs conduct a pre-match briefing ahead of their matches. So this has been incorporated into Football Manager 2018. These briefings usually occur on the eve of a match and give you the opportunity to explain to the squad what it is you want them to focus on in the upcoming fixture. So that's a really good um, addition to the team as well. Um, I don't know if I use this every single game, honestly, as a um, casual to over casual uh, foot manager player. I don't know if I use this every single game, like, you know, a wet night, wet, <laughs> like a wait, like Wednesday night in uh, Burnley. I'm not sure this needs to be done. However, I'm sure like this would be, I will use this a lot when it comes to like uh, important games. If you're avoiding relegation, trying to win a championship, a cup final, etc. This would be uh, very, very, very useful. And I feel like if you get into a habit of doing it, I feel like it could be a very useful thing to do. Um, but me personally, I don't see myself using this uh, just because it can get pretty mundane if you have to go to every single match and talk and do a breathe in every single game. So um, honestly, it's it's a good addition, really good addition. I think it'd be great um, for uh, those big, big, important occasions, cup finals, relegation fights, things like that. Um, but apart from that, really good, really good addition. Happy with that. You can run them through your tactics, player team and opposition instructions and any changes you've made to the squad. Your tactics analysis and scouts reports on the opposition are viewable on the right hand side of the screen so you can incorporate elements of these into the meeting. 
you're able to clearly gauge the reactions of the squad to everything you say on the main meeting screen as well. If you're more of a hands-off manager, then you do have the option to let your assistant do the talking for you. Analysis has also been incorporated into tactics in a more intuitive way. Firstly, you'll notice on the tactics panel that there is a dedicated analysis section that shows trends from your recent matches. These are clearly split out into positives and negatives. There's also now tactical analysis on your tactics pitch. The grid overlay shows areas of potential exposure, taking into account the formation and role set for each player. Now that's pretty cool actually. Um, the fact that it tells you weak areas of the field, uh, things that obviously, I mean, I want, um, looks like they're pretty much player orientated. Uh, for instance, here you have uh, Ferrero playing at right wing back on the attack. So it gives you an area of the field around him that are potential areas of exposure. Uh, obviously, uh, when looking at uh, next opposition, you look at the formation, the style of play, and you can see here, so right behind Ferreira and right kind of to his left, um, you're going to be able to see that there are air pockets of red there. Then those are obviously the areas that you might potentially be uh, at your weakest. So that's pretty good information to have. Areas that are red or orange show where you're particularly vulnerable. The analysis also highlights partnerships between your players. This takes into account factors such as the role selected as well as recent performances. So, for example, players who have been successfully stringing passes together or creating opportunities for each other will be highlighted with a green connecting line indicating a strong partnership made possible by the new Dynamics features in FM18. Good. I mean, that's good. They're bringing to the uh, dynamics feature into this as well. Obviously, player personalities. So it helps you uh, if the players are better understanding of each other and they're better, you know, partnerships. You know, think about like some of the the great partnerships of uh, yesteryears. Uh, obviously. Um, and how they formed, you know, like Esky and Owen, for instance. That was a fantastic partnership. It always worked out well. And, you know, just um, it's a, a more emphasis on defensive partnerships, attacking partnerships, midfield partnerships, things like that. So obviously the stronger the unit and the team, it's great to have all these individual collectively brilliant players, but sometimes they don't click very well, and that's just the case. Um, so like having a more emphasis on player personalities and relationships uh, does improve things on the tactical end of things. So I'm very happy they included it this year and I'm interested to see how that rolls out and how it develops. Some new player roles also make their debut in this year's edition. The Segundo Volante looks to support in both defence and attack from the defensive midfield position. Okay, cool. That's pretty awesome. So it comes like, uh, let's read this real quick. Uh, there's a different type of de uh, deep line playmaker in the role, primarily defensive one, best suited for paired with an anchor man. It's uh, also different from the ball winning midfielder. If they often run with the ball, arrive late with a late run into the opposition area, and in much the way saying the box to box. Okay, so that's uh, kind of an in between, looks like between a box to box, a ball winning, and a de deep line playmaker. So that's going to be obviously a very, very technically uh, important role. The Mazzala and the Carrillero roles are new additions in the central midfield position. The Mazala operates centrally but strives to get into positions that an inside forward would usually occupy. The Carrillero, on the other hand, shuttles between midfield lines. The final new role is the inverted winger, which can be applied to either the left or the right midfielders. Some of the existing roles have been tweaked a bit too. Trequartista can now be assigned to players in the AMR or AML positions and inverted wingbacks now have a duty to attack as well as defend. So all those are great. They give you added flexibility on players and it gives you a bit more control of how your team plays. Obviously, there were times when I wanted to use my wide midfielders in a 4-4-2 formation as inside forwards. And this time, it looks like you're going to be able to do that as an inverted winger. So that's going to be good because I like to be able to get my fullbacks up the wing. So I like to tuck in my midfielders, help them support the attack, and then use my wingbacks to then get forward and supply the crosses in the box. So this new added feature does give you a lot more ta uh, tactical freedom and a lot more ways to dictate how the team plays. So great additions this year for FM. There are a host of new player and team instructions. You can ask your team to look for the underlap in the final third, while in the player instructions menu, you can instruct players to mark a specific position and our central players to run wide with the ball. There's a new player okay. preferred move this year too, as you can ask defenders to bring the ball out of defense and more choices with free kicks in the set piece creator with the ability to set different free kicks based on where the free kick is being taken from. 
I mean, that, that that always did my head in with the set piece creates. I mean, it looks identical to last year, um, first and foremost, which is kind of frustrating because I kind of prefer the way that FM16 looked, but that's a different topic. Um, anyway, the indirects, as you can see, from central, wide, and deep. So that basically gives you, again, a bit more control over uh, what kind of set pieces you do because I'm a big fan of set pieces too. I spend a lot of time on them to try and get them right defensively and offensively. So that's going to be... Um, just oh i mean it's just going to be a really nice uh, addition um to this year's fm um so yeah good stuff in football manager 2018 make it easier to implement your tactical philosophy whilst giving you more control with the addition of tactical analysis at the heart of the tactic screen it's easier to judge in what areas of the pitch your tactic leaves you vulnerable and the pre-match briefing allows you to find out what the players are thinking too to sum it up, Tactics in FM18 offers more possibilities, is easier to use and gives better feedback. Keep an eye out for more episodes of FM TV and for more information on Football Manager 20. Yeah, um, I have to agree with him right at the end. I think it gives you... Uh, more flexibility, better understanding, and it gives you more options. Uh, and it also just lets you know whatever's you're vulnerable. I mean, obviously, a lot of casual players, that information is going to be vital to trying to enjoy the game because often players and foot manager players do get very frustrated when they have a tactic and not understanding why it's becoming vulnerable all of a sudden. This time, it's going to be able to let you know if it's an issue with partnerships, if it's an issue with technical shape, if it's an issue with um, style of play, things like that. It's going to give you more information to try and understand why this tactic isn't working. That's good because it's hard to uh, to do that in the current versions of the game because there aren't really those existing options you can get you can guess little keys and cues from your assistant manager or a data analysis team but there wasn't really a true emphasis on it this year it looks like they put an emphasis on it so i'm very happy to see that um and yeah overall fantastic work again this is great great stuff indeed very very happy with how uh they've changed tactics this year i'm looking forward to developing more tactics and doing something weird and wacky every time every year i do something i try and do a, a tactic for that game this year i haven't decided what i'm going to do yet so uh but at least now i can understand um a little well, at least now i understand sorry at least now um, I have a, a platform to build a better understanding of how the tactical system works in the game. And obviously, uh, with that in mind, if I find something interesting out, I will be doing tutorial videos on tactics as well. Uh, if I find a system that works or find a way to uh, best utilize it in the game itself and be successful as a uh, tactician. Because uh, previous years, I'm not a great tactician. So this year, I'm putting an emphasis on trying to understand the game from a tactical element. Um, definitely going to try and improve myself that way. And um, yeah, if I find anything interesting out, I'll definitely share that information with you guys. Um, so uh, but thank you guys so much for on the video hope you guys have enjoyed it uh, if you did remember to drop a like on the video and as always if you want to see the original video of yourself please check the link in the company uh, description below and uh, if you want to see more videos by me in the future about fm18 or fm18 says please hit uh, subscribe put turn those notifications on and you'll see when those videos get uploaded but uh thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you all in the next part goodbye everyone goodbye